my everybody it has been a busy morning so what I have done this morning is I did I cleaned my room and vacuumed my room I cleaned uh, my lizard's cage which is named spike I also cleaned uh, my closet cleaned out all that got all the clothes that are needed to get rid of that don't fit me anymore also just organized my closet put all the clothes that I needed to do up I did laundry ate breakfast got my caffeine coffee of course because it is Saturday I filmed a vlog earlier this morning and then I'm filming a vlog right now. Uh, updated my video chart, uploaded media to my camera. I mean, uploaded media to my computer, and now I'm filming again. So it's been a busy morning. And then we got this whole to-do list, checklist deal that we got to finish off. And then we are going to probably go bike with Matthew with this new bike. And then we got to edit a podcast. Then we got to do a bunch of other stuff that we need to do and need to prioritize and then we probably gonna edit a vlog and everything like that. Thank God I have meal prep previously on last Wednesday and I meal prepped a lot more than I should have, like a lot more than I normally do. So we got a lot of things to do, but we got we're gonna get it done. And so that is why I'm in my car right now to get everything done and all situated. We got our first stop finished up. So it took a lot longer than I need to, but I wanted to find the right cycling jersey and also talk to one of the workers there about Ironman and cycling and running and ultra distances and everything like that. Just because why not? I like to talk about that because that's one of my favorite topics to talk to people about is running, cycling, basically my hobby, basically everything I want to do with my life. If I could, I would become an Olympic runner, but you know, that's probably not possible just because it's very hard to become an Olympic runner because the levels that people are running right now are just absolutely amazing like basically two, sub two hour marathons sub seven ironmans that's a goal for many uh triathletes also the f sub 14 minute five case at in high school level and stuff like that's just mind-blowing that it's gonna get down to that because the competition at this these days now are just absolutely crazy the competition just keeps on getting better and better and better just because the technology the training people are learning so I wonder what it's going to be in like a hundred years from now. It's probably just going to be just absolutely just crazy, I would say. Probably like, I don't even know, like sub 10 minute 5Ks. Like no joke. And then just just training in general for these things are just absolutely crazy. So it, it's the elite levels are just going to get crazy. So if I could become an Olympic runner or an elite level athlete, I would. But it's probably not possible. But if it could be, I would love it. Sunday morning 
and I went on a bike ride. It was a 40 mile bike ride, my first 40 mile bike ride. And I don't even know how long. It's been a while for sure, probably since actually July. The time I last ran officially, like had a true train block, I was actually trying to train for something. That was officially the last time I officially ran. And that was actually one of the last times I actually did like a 40 mile bike ride. I did do it outside. The wind was absolutely amazing. Literally, there was no headwind. There was no tailwind. The most that it had was a crosswind. It almost blew me over. Maybe just a little bit, but not too much. Uh, but I did have no, no, I actually did have some pain during the ride, some discomfort, but it didn't last, it didn't last long. I had more discomfort in my back and that was actually like, I guess the way my back was positioned, it hurt my back a lot more than it should have for sure. I had really no hip pain though. My quads didn't really start fatiguing really until like the very end of the ride, like mile 38 or something like that. Really after the bike ride, I started to notice my quads fatigue and uh, my hamstrings didn't fatigue really my my both sides my glutes fatigue but they're not sore today but literally none of my soreness that I had from Tuesday's run and bike ride combined is no not here today anymore and then I also did not get sore from yesterday's bike ride as well but I did get severe heat exhaustion for sure I almost threw up I was sick I was just kind of like clenching I was bundled up in a ball I felt like I was gonna throw up just I was not feeling the good I was turning white white as it goes and then I took some Motrin and started to get some color back into me felt a little bit better better and so I wasn't hungry but I I was hungry at the same time and I was I knew it was best to eat something so I did which was I ate a bunch of popcorn and I actually ate some veggies some chicken and some shrimp I ate popcorn because I really did not feel like cooking a true dinner because it was like 9 30 at night and I also made some cookies just because I wanted to but I didn't really want to cook a bunch of veggies so I just popped some chicken in the air fryer and then I also just put some shrimp in the microwave and yeah that was that had to get some protein but I did the carbs with the popcorn um, I also did want to do popcorn because I took some Matthews popcorn just because I was like it's kind of good and I was like maybe it's a good idea for me to get some blood sugar levels up because of my heat exhaustion because what causes heat exhaustion I feel like it was just me being out of shape just because I haven't cycled in such a long time and literally I felt so sick after but it's probably because I did not keep up my hydration up at all and yeah that was probably one of the reasons I did get heat exhaustion which leads me to the question of the day have you ever had heat exhaustion after a run where you just felt so sick anyways I did for sure yesterday and then the, on Tuesday I did too but it wasn't as bad as yesterday for sure literally I got car sick with it because I was already feeling sick so I guess the movement of the car really just kind of like made me even more sick but yeah I mean it's kind of like eh I rode my first 40 mile bike ride which is nice and uh, it was a pain test essentially I did wake up this morning with some pain in my left hip the more I walked around the more I moved around the more pain I did feel sadly which is kind of heartbreaking but it's also like maybe we can pinpoint the pain because on Tuesday when I did run I did cycle the next day after I was more sore and I did not have any pain in my left hip and so today when I woke up I actually had no pain but when I started moving around more did some core some of the exercises I did had a little part of it and flaming the hip a little bit the more I walk kind of felt a little bit pain I'll see how I do at work today because it is Mother's Day and the restaurant is completely booked out so I will see how the movement affects my hip hopefully it doesn't irritate me too much to where it's gonna like really be really painful at work especially with how busy it is going to be and you know bus boy have you ever been a bus boy before you know you're just walking around cleaning the tables checking if people need to clear people's food uh, plates out the way and everything like that you know what a bus boy is obviously I I think you do at least. Anyways, you're just moving around the restaurant and everything. And it's a busy restaurant day. So hopefully my hip's not too irritated. But I'm glad I got chores done today. Because I woke up a little bit late. Because I went to bed a little bit late. I woke up around 7.15. But I'm glad I did chores today. Because I don't have to do them today. And that just kind of makes me very, very happy. Yesterday was a very, very productive day. I did all of my errands that I needed to. Which was the pet store. Lowe's. Grocery shopping. Then I had to do drop a UPS thing. And then I went to the bike store to get me a cycling jersey which I do love a lot and then I didn't do much of the YouTube stuff I more did errands for myself which was all of that I also did a bike ride to test the pain and everything basically one of my last pain tests if not the last pain test and then I also just kind of just 
did everything. I unpacked the groceries, didn't really focus. I was gonna edit the podcast and I ran out of time to do it before then, so I didn't edit it. So then I came home and I felt too sick to edit it, so I never did edit it. And by the time I finished dinner, it was just too late. I was already kind of tired. Literally, as soon as I hit the pillow, I fell asleep, I was out, and so I didn't end up editing the podcast. But anyways, I am going to get you the comment of the day now because it's just what I'm gonna do because that's just the way it's gonna work. Anyways, it goes to Luke Spooner. He says, good to see you running again. Had to double check and when I saw the Strava post and make sure I wasn't looking at Matthew Strava. I wish Matthew had a run on Strava, but he doesn't, sadly. And also, I'm glad to be running. Even if it's just for a day to test the pain, I'm glad to be running because it just felt so awesome to feel the movement, feel the rhythm. I felt like myself when I was running and it just felt so amazing to just glide, feel the freedom of my legs. Did not really like it the day after because it really did hurt the day after, but I did enjoy the run. Hopefully, uh, by the time this all fixes and we find this injury, I'll be able to run, start training, and really get my PRs that I want to achieve and get all the goals I want to achieve. Hopefully, we find this true problem. We go back to the doctors Tuesday, so I hope we find the problem. But if we don't, I mean, that's heartbreaking, but yeah. Anyways, you can also support the channel on Patreon. Yeah, pledging $1 really does help the channel a lot more than you think it actually does. Anyways, make sure you seek happiness, achieve goals, and find glory. I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.